everyone so today I'm wearing some bling because I'm doing an inspired makeup look I haven't done this in so long I was stalking Pinterest last night and I was just thinking wow I have not done a celebrity makeup tutorial in forever and I wanted to do something really pretty and smoky and glam today so I came across this look from Hailey Steinfeld and I think it's from last year, 2017, like an Oscars after party or the Oscars or something along those lines. It's another shot in a different outfit, I believe, I hope. Seriously, I'm so bad with like pop culture, I swear. Anyway, so I was just super inspired by her makeup and wanted to recreate it today. Oh, look, here's another look, super, super pretty. I just love the soft pinky lip with the smoky eyes, just really simple. And I haven't really done a simple, you know, like smoky eye kind of look in a while on my channel. I've just been doing like lots of crazy makeup and a bit of everyday makeup and natural kind of makeup, but nothing smoky and neutral. So hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. It is using all vegan products as well and I'm also going to show you a brand new lipstick from Exo Beauty at the end which is going to raise money for one of my favorite charities so stay tuned till the very end I'm so excited for the collaboration because the charity is like a really I don't know just it inspires me so much so I'm so excited to be working with them um anyways let's jump in I'm gonna start with my primer so basically I spent the last like hour and a half just googling all of these products to try and make sure that they were all vegan so I've gone off the information on the websites and as far as I can tell they are vegan of course if you are living a vegan lifestyle just triple check the ingredients on the websites I'll put links to everything down below so you can check but as far as I know um, yeah hopefully these are all vegan so the first thing I have here is the Smashbox photo finish hydrating primer I love this I used to use this all the time and I have not used it in a while so I'm so excited to use it today my skin feels like quite parched I spent like five hours on a plane yesterday so well actually two planes I'm just like so dry and dehydrated and this is like such a beautiful hydrating primer and it makes my makeup go on so nicely on top I'm using lots of old favorites today and a few new products to try as well so one of the new products is this hair this is the designer brands matte velvet foundation medium coverage SPF 15 her skin definitely has like a really really good coverage so we're gonna start with this maybe I'll build it up a little bit if it's not enough coverage for me we'll see how it goes I've never tried it I have two shades here I've got warm honey and nude beige so hopefully one of them matches me I've kind of got like remnants of fake tan on right now it's not looking good so this is the shade warm honey and then this is the shade nude beige which looks a little bit lighter so we'll start with the darker one and maybe I can mix a little bit of the lighter one if I need to I'm just gonna start with one pump on each side of my face and spread it out with my sponge it's going kind of orange I swear this happened last time I used a designer brand foundation as well like it just went bright orange on me I swear they just don't mix well with my foundation I mean with my foundation with my skin we'll blend it out maybe I'll put another bit of the lighter shade on top and we'll see how it looks but wow seriously I've heard so many good things about designer brands foundations but they just never look good on me that oxidization can you see it around the outer corner like you can see the fresh color in the middle and then it's just orange you know what this is this is gonna come off oh I'm so gutted anyway this designer brands foundation is vegan friendly I've heard amazing things about like the designer brands foundations but the colors just may not work for me you know what let's just try mixing a little bit of lighter color on top otherwise I've got a different backup foundation ready finish is nice even that's not like that's still going kind of orange on me is it just my skin like does it just not mix with my skin I don't know okay let's just remove this real quick so I reprimed just to let you know and the foundation I've got here is another one I haven't tried so hopefully this goes better than the last one this is the Tarte Shape Tape Double Duty Beauty just the matte one the hydrating one I believe it isn't vegan but this one on their website it says it's vegan so I'm gonna give this a go today I did actually already have the Shape Tape concealer for my vegan concealer today so I guess it'll go well together I'm honestly not sure how I will like this but we'll give it a go so this is the shade light neutral which is probably gonna be a bit too pale and then the other shade I have here is called light medium neutral which is kind of like my go-to color by Tarte looks like that so I'm just gonna slap this on I have no idea how much I need so we'll just do like that much for now and then I'm going to use my sponge once again it's blending out really easy the coverage is really good I'm just putting it down my neck because my neck has got like no fake tan left on it 
and I pretty much think that amount of product was almost spot on. Yes, didn't put on way too much like normal. Okay, it's looking at very flawless. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be to blend out because sometimes I find the shape tape a little bit difficult to blend out, but this actually went on quite nicely. To be honest as well, the shape tape has grown on me, so I'm gonna use it today, especially when I mix it with another concealer, but that's very extra, so today I'm gonna use it alone. This is the shade Fair, and I'm just going to use this under my eyes to conceal the duck Netflix circles. Stayed up watching that um, assassination. I don't know if this was on Netflix or not. I don't know. Hamish set it up. But that assassination of Gianni Versace. Is that how you say his name? I don't know. Haley's under eyes definitely not like super bright or anything. But this is the color I have under the eyes. I might mix in a little bit of the darker one. We'll see how it turns out. I guess it's a little bit brighter. But I mean not much. It's not like as bright Kim K under eye. But you know. And then quickly I am going to set under my eyes before this creases. This is the Locket Petal Whip Powder by Kat Von D. There is a giant jet plane flying over my house. Sorry about that if you can hear it. How inconvenient. Just slapping that on. I love this powder so much. It's definitely one of my favorite setting powders of all time. Like especially, you know, eye setting powders, under eye setting powders. Setting powder, setting powder, setting powder. Oh my god, I almost just threw it on the ground and the lid wasn't on. Like my fingers just like jerked. Can you imagine? I would be so devastated. Okay, and then the powder I have here, once again, obviously, as far as I'm con not concerned, as far as I found out, I'm pretty sure this is vegan. So this is the Light um, Cover Effects Perfect Pressed Powder in the shade Light. Um, and this is a little bit too pale for me at the moment, but it's not super, like, pigmented or anything, so it just, it still works, if that makes sense, so... I'm just going to apply this all over my face to set the foundation in place. I really like the pressed powder though, it's really nice. And then when I want a fuller coverage, I use the, um, it's like the fat powder foundation by Cover FX, but I don't know if that one is vegan. It's definitely cruelty free though, I believe. Ooh, I quite like how my skin is looking. And she is quite matte, by the way. She doesn't really have a whole lot of like highlighter on or anything. At least on that angle, I've got another angle here. Let me check. Like her highlight is very, very natural. I don't know. So according to the internet, this is vegan. The All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay, which I love. As you guys know, it's like the same product as the Scandinavia ones as well, which I also love. So I'm just gonna spritz some of this just to settle the powders on my face. Whew. My hair's like literally wet now after spraying that. That's how much I put on. Um, okay, so next up, let's start with the eye makeup and the brows. So her brows are Blimmin' incredible, like my eyebrows are not on the same level as hers. She has such full fluffy eyebrows and they kind of look like those soap brows but I don't know how to do that so I'm just gonna do it my way. She's got very, very full dark eyebrows, like they're stunning. I'm obsessed with them. So I'm just gonna do some like full darkish eyebrows on myself. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is use some of this Tarte Taupe Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse on my eyebrows just to fill in any sparse areas. I'm just doing little brush stroke motions, like attempting to anyway. And you can brush them out with the spoolie just to make sure they don't look too like solid because their eyebrows look very natural. This is a fail, my eyebrows are just looking like normal. <laughs> I can't do the messy eyebrow look. Like, not messy, but natural messy. Does that make sense? I don't know. So whatever, I'm just gonna fill them in. So my eyebrows are not as fleeky as hers, but I'm going to use the Urban Decay Brow Tamer. This is the tinted one. Um, just to brush my hairs of my eyebrows upwards so that I can hopefully get a kind of like natural bushy effect. Just like this, kind of. <laughs> I'm just brushing back the ones that are at the very beginning because they're freaking long, I need to trim them. So those are my eyebrows, anyway. You can do them however you like, just roll with it. <laughs> so it looks like she's got not a lot of eyeliner in the waterline, but a little bit maybe in the tight line. Um, however, I am gonna add just a little bit in the waterline just to help smoke out the lower lashes, if that makes sense. So I'm using Demolition by Urban Decay, the 24 seven. Kind of putting it on the like lash line if I can on the waterline, not all over the waterline. And I'm just going to use my dense shadow brush to look up and then just kind of smudge it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just so we get something similar to that. This eyeliner is bloody beautiful. It's the first time I'm using this shade. I've used the um, range before and I really like them. But this color is so nice. It's like a brownie 
grayish kind of color and her smoky eye is that kind of tone like it's very warm um, at the like crease and underneath but then closer to the lash line it's quite like a cool tone almost or like a grayish charcoal I don't even know how to describe it but we're gonna go for it I'm so excited to do this look. I have not done celebrity looks in so long, like I've said a couple of times already. Let me know down below what celebrity makeup looks you want to see because I just want to do tons more, basically. And then I'm just going to rub some of the black, which is the shade Perversion. It's a matte black into my lash line, a little bit in the tight line. I'm just going to use the exact same brush just to blend that in to my lashes. And once again, it doesn't have to be perfect because of course we're gonna follow with our eyeshadows and everything. So you can tidy it up. And if you want, you can always do this step before you do your foundation if you're worried. This is just gonna help the overall makeup effect look nice and smoky also. Now I'm going in with my Kali Bible palette and I'm going to take this shade just here. And this is going to be the kind of like warm shade we're gonna use in the crease and underneath. So I'm going to use a tulip crease brush and just take that color and first off I'm going to put a little bit just underneath and my freaking screen just keeps locking. How inconvenient. Um, she does have it quite far down under her eyes. It's a very lovely smoky look and that's kind of like my favorite way. I'm so tongue tied today I don't know why. It's like one of my favorite ways to wear my eyeshadows like quite far down underneath so... We're gonna do that ourselves and this brush just fits perfectly. You can also use any kind of like blender brush or even a pencil brush and then blend it out afterwards. And that's just gonna warm up the area. I'm also gonna pop that in the crease. You can use any neutral kind of color scheme. You know, any palette you have at home for this. You don't really need to use the same palette, but this one is vegan and beautiful. I love it. Lots of BH Cosmetics are like vegan. Lots of their products are vegan. And it's a really affordable brand too. Her eye makeup is very winged out too. Like the underneath kind of like just ties in to the top in a straight line. I'm using a little bit of the color at the very top in the center. Just because it's a little bit warmer again. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this underneath also. And then I'm actually going to take a kind of taupey color on the lid. Because how I was saying before it's kind of like a grayish like cool tone color. It almost looks like a shimmery kind of taupe. I haven't been able to find a photo of her looking down, but just from like the three or four different photos I've got on my phone, it just looks very taupe right next to her lash line. So we're going to go for it. Just using my dense shadow brush once again. And I'm going to actually mix together these two shades just to create the perfect shade. Because this one here is a little bit too purple. This one's too warm. So I'm hoping that when we mix them together, we're going to get a very good color. Let's find out. I'm just picking it on top of that black that we put down and then just all over the eyelid. This is such a beautiful color. I can't get over it. Wow. And this look is going to be very well blended because it doesn't look like she has any harsh lines or any type of cut crease or anything. So we just want it to look nice and soft and smoky, of course. Keyword of the day, smoky. <laughs> so looking at her makeup, I just need a little bit more of like a chocolate kind of brown now, kind of in the similar areas that we put the warmer color. So this palette doesn't really have a chocolatey brown, but it does have this kind of like, it's almost like a chocolatey brown, but it's a little bit more cooler. So I might mix together that one and that one just to create a custom shade. And then let's try this in the crease first. Actually, I might use a firm blender brush just to deposit a little bit more color. That's better. I'm just using the color by itself now. I'm not mixing it and it's looking good. And then just a little bit of that darker like chocolatey brown right underneath. I'm trying to get that really close to the lash line though. I'm just going to smudge a tiny bit more of that eyeliner I used down the bottom. Just on that outer half. Just because it does look like she's got a little bit like of eyeliner maybe on the last edge of her eye look a little bit more bold and then on her inner corner she's got like a bright kind of white highlighter so I'm going to use this shade just here I'm using a tapered eye brush I'm just going to use the tip of this brush just to apply my white right there on the inner corner and then for my brow bone I'm just going to take the matte kind of like creamy color from the palette because she doesn't really have much going on but I just want to highlight that area just a touch and then her lashes like I'm pretty sure she's wearing lashes they're very very nat actually you know what i've got some natural lashes that i wore the other day that i will reuse so these lashes here they've just been cleaned they are the heiress and they are just like natural but kind of long clustery lashes and they're just 
so beautiful and make your lashes look nice and thick which is exactly what we want for this look because it doesn't look like she's wearing like dramatic falsies her lashes just look really beautifully natural and full and it doesn't really look like she's wearing eyeliner it just looks nice and thick in her lash line like what I did with that black eyeliner at the very beginning I could be wrong but that's what I see by looking at the picture <laughs> so I'm putting them on before my mascara oh god my lashes are so like curly right now because I've been addicted to revital lash it's so hard to like get my eyelashes on first pop so I'm just placing them down and I'm just pressing up my lashes together with this eyelash curl it's by Tweezman um just to curl my lashes a little bit I don't usually curl my lashes but hers look very curled and just to blend the falsies with my natural lashes before I go ahead and do my mascara do you say mascara or mascara I feel like I say both ways I don't know why so anyway you can see her lashes it look nice and full and curled and of course we need to put on mascara right so I'm using this one here which I believe is a vegan according to their website it is this is by Ineka Organics it's called the long lash mascara and I've never tried this this is my first time so this is what the one looks like it's nice and long and quite like narrow which I do like sometimes because it really helps you get in to the roots so I'm just going to apply this right onto oh my gosh yes that's so black and just coat my natural lashes and the falsies a little bit too honestly these lashes just nailed this look because that is looking so similar now to her look does she have mascara on the bottom lashes let me check yes she does she definitely does so I'm just going to apply a little bit this mascara is really good. I love this so much. So I'm just doing two coats because her lashes look really nice and thick. So I want mine to look nice and thick also. And then we're just going to have to wait for that underneath to dry before I try to remove that because otherwise it'll just smear everywhere. Oh my god, I got mascara in my hair too. How? How does anyone do that? Oh my god, it's not coming out. This is my life now. Just black stripes in my hair. It's reminding me of those seen MySpace days. With the like stripes you know so I'm just smudging with a clean q-tip away that excess mascara that landed on my skin and it is removing it so easily I really like this mascara you guys I'm gonna keep using it and see how it goes but first impression like it's magnificent <laughs> so I could do even more layers but I think that is good with the eyelashes on so here's the eye makeup done. Hers is definitely a little bit sharper on those like outer corners. So I might um, sharpen mine up a little bit more at the end. Like just add a little bit more color. But for now we're going to contour. She doesn't have like super contoured skin. But she does have a little bit of shape going on. So I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury contour side. I didn't know this was vegan but apparently it is. So I am very happy about that. And I'm going to use that with a bronzer brush today. And I'm just going to apply that on my cheekbones. Man, I'm so matte right now. I definitely need to add some sort of glow in a second. And then just to warm up my complexion, because she definitely looks like she's got some kind of like bronzer just on her forehead and maybe a little bit on her cheeks. I'm going to use my um, Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is just, yeah, a little bit warmer. And I'm going to use it the same brush and just apply a little bit to the temples and forehead, a little bit down the nose. And then a little bit just on the cheeks, just above where I've contoured. And then for her blush, it's quite a orangey peachy shade. So I'm going to use the shade Coralina by Milani, the baked blush. I love these. I haven't used them in so long though. Um, I think there's about two shades which are not vegan. So not every single one is vegan, but most of the shades are. And I believe this one is. So yeah, Coralina. I'm going to use the same brush once again and literally just take a small amount. And she's got her blush like all the way down to here but I'm just gonna do it how I normally do so kind of almost where I would highlight but I'll bring it down a little bit further than normal just to create that really flushed look like what she's wearing I love this color blush I'm being a little bit heavy-handed of course just because her blush is definitely noticeable it's not like subtle you know I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the bronzer on my brush and just sweep that underneath as well just to create a little bit more depth underneath I'm sure there was like a picture of her side on but I didn't screenshot it and it looked kind of golden like a really subtle golden highlighter so I'm gonna do that even though I can't see it in this picture I'm sure there was one though I'll have to see if I can find it um I've got either the one that's just in the Charlotte Tilbury um glow palette or I've got like the Carly Bible one that one looks pretty much perfect yeah I'm gonna use the Carly Bible one just a small amount of this 
on my cheekbones just to brighten up my complexion a little bit. I might add a little bit more highlight than what she's wearing just because I don't really like her super matte look on myself. But of course, if you want to copy the look identically, you can just make adjustments. A little bit just on my nose. So here's how we are looking so far. Um, her blush is just like giving me life right now. Our complexion is obviously very different, but um, hopefully you guys can see some kind of resemblance. I've not done this in a while. I can, hopefully you can. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna do the lips now. So she is wearing a beautiful pinky flush on her lips. It is so flattering and just perfect. Like the perfect kind of lip color you could wear with dramatic or simple or everyday or party makeup, it doesn't even matter. And they definitely have a creamy finish. So the lipstick I'm going to show you today is perfect. Um, I am going to line my lips first. This is a BH Cosmetics waterproof lip liner in Stripped Vegan Waterproof. I'm just going to line my lips like normal. I'm not doing like a celebrity transformation or anything. Um, her lips, like she doesn't even look like she's lined them heavily. Just a little bit and then just patted the lipstick on top. So I'm just going to like fill in my lips like I normally do. And like do it how I feel comfortable, which is by just overdrawing that top lip because my lip line is very, very like non-existent. I love this color too. And then to fill in, I'm going to show you my charity lipstick shade. So if you guys tuned into my live you now, like a week or two ago, I did show you guys it on there. So it's not a surprise for you guys. And if you do follow Expo Beauty on Instagram and stuff, anyway, if you haven't seen it yet, this is my new lipstick shade that I've been working on for a long time with a charity called Hoo Ha. And Hoo Ha is a New Zealand charity organization that basically rescues animals, saves animals, helps people adopt animals. Like they just do everything for animals. So Hoo Ha stands for helping you help animals. I love what they do. I have visited them. I've seen what they do firsthand. They are the leading no-kill shelter in New Zealand. They save animals from teeny tiny animals to wild animals to pets to farm animals. Any animal, they are there to help. And they have done so many amazing things over the years and I just love them so much. And I thought a cool way to help raise money for them would be to do a charity lipstick shade and donate some of the proceeds straight to them. And if this is successful, 100% we want to do more of these, like more charity shades, because I just like to give back, you know? So this costs the exact same amount as all the rest of the lipsticks. This formula is vegan, it's cruelty free, and the shade is called Rescue Me. Who hard did name it, and it's like the cutest name ever. So if you love animals, you definitely need to check this out. It is limited edition, and this is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute with the little paw prints on it. There's also a little paw print on the box, and then of course your lipstick is right inside. The label is on the bottom. This is made in Italy. It's amazing quality and that's how it looks. So we are donating 50% of the profits from every single Rescue Me lipstick straight to Hoo Ha. So if you're interested in helping a charity and getting some makeup out of it as well, it's a really cool way to help. So I'm going to show you how it looks just on my lips. This color is really easily adaptable. If you have a darker skin tone, just put it on top of a you know, darker nude or brown lip pencil and just tap it on and it creates the most perfect everyday pinky color. So yeah, I'm going to show you how it looks just with this color on the outside and then by itself. And I'll link the website down below where you can purchase it. We do ship worldwide. And have a look through the photos on the website because it'll have some swatches like with different lip liners underneath, if that makes sense. I've also got comparisons on the website of this one compared to um, for locally and Ubuntu. It is definitely different. I love this color. I'm just going to use my finger to blend in the lip pencil just so it's a little bit softer like hers. Um, and then I'm actually going to put on a little bit of gloss on top just because her lips are like extra creamy. But this is the finish of the Her High Shade Rescue Me and I would really appreciate any support of course as always. This lipstick honestly just looks so beautiful. It's the perfect everyday color or just the perfect color to wear with any type of makeup look. Um, it's just like a go-to kind of pinky color for me. If you love for locally you'll love this one too. So according to ethicalelephant.com, I think that's the website, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses are vegan. So I've got the shade Butterscotch here and this is like a peachy pink. I'm just going to apply a little bit like this and rub it together. And if it wants to brighten up a little bit, you'll see the color is very, very similar, but the lighting's crap as always. <gasps> the spider's back. I swear every time I do a live stream, it's there. Oh my God, it's so big and creepy. Every day I film, he's just catching his food. Can't blame him. A girl's gotta eat, but 
Okay, so anyways, this is the final look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I am trying to get my friggin... It won't recognize my face right now. Her look is definitely a little bit more effortless looking than me. Like her skin is just so beautifully natural but full coverage. I think she's just got amazing skin. And her eyebrows are just so natural and beautiful but I guess mine's a little bit more glam looking. Anyway, it's my inspired look and I love the colors. I think they are really wearable and will look amazing on many different skin tones. You can just adapt the eyeshadows to kind of go with your skin tone, if that makes sense, and the lip color. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial using all vegan makeup. Hopefully you guys got some new things on your shopping list. And yeah, I will link everything down below and talk to you soon. Bye. Ow, my elbow.